I can't help it. I can't. I mean, I could not wear the sweater. That would help it, I think. <laughs> that would help it, all right? Like, I had a homeless guy come up to me asking me for a dollar. I didn't have one to give to him. Some nice guy came up and gave us both a dollar. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he said, you would look like you would clean up nicely. <laughs> I was like, of course I would clean up nicely. That's what cleaning up is, right? I dirty up nicely. <laughs> Let's talk about that. <laughs> no. Wow. <laughs> I think you should trust your gut unless you're pregnant. <laughs> right? Not into the baby thing, no? Yes. I spend a lot of time on the road, right? Traffic has made me jaded in some weird ways. Like, I don't like babies anymore, right? Because I don't see babies anymore. I see future traffic. All right, make love, but not traffic. All right, no. The worst thing is the baby on board sign, You right? You see the baby on board. Like, that's your problem in your car, right? Right, baby on board sign, and you cut me off, right? <laughs> that's two ways I know you're not pulling out properly. Ah, uh, yeah, babies, babies are weird, you know, like, uh, especially when they wear glasses, right? Babies in glasses, that's the weirdest thing I've seen, you know? Because how do you know that baby needs glasses, right? Because every time I go to get my eyes checked, they're like, all right, read the top line. Okay. All right, yeah, think about it, right? Can you read the top line, baby? <laughs> goo goo. No, it says Gaga. We'll stick those on you. You're blind. <laughs> uh, babies in glasses, too. Baby glasses look like goggles, right? <laughs> the thing about babies in goggles is you can't throw them in the water. <laughs> uh, you can tell some of you guys are thinking about it, right? right? You could be a preacher. You could throw babies in the water all day. <laughs> Baptized. <laughs> Baptized, <laughs> baptized. I don't know. Do they get paid for that or what? Or are they just respect? I think they get both, right? <laughs> yeah. They're paid and respected, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> and baptisms are weird too to me, right? Because you're a baby. They're like, we're gonna make it so you can get into heaven now, right? Don't mess it up. Please don't murder people. I just never heard of anyone being unbaptized, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, like, oh, you did that, Matthew. You give me that holy water back now. <laughs> no, okay, you guys are not a baptism crowd. <laughs> I should have diverted a while ago. <laughs> religious, I just try to think about religion and, like, all the things. They, like, like people, people do whatever they run, and then they, they like, uh, and they apologize. They're like, I'm sorry. They repent. Right? Repentance is like a thing. They just apologize. Confession. Say that again? You go, to you go to confession and you repent, right? But I'm efficient. So I would go before the weekend. I call it prepenting. <laughs> Get it out of the way, right? You know what you're going to do. I got plans, right? Prepenting. Thank you. You can do it too. I mean, they just forgive you, right? It's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission, right? Sorry. <laughs> you tell me how to count, and I'll just do it. Like, okay, three, zero, three, thank you. Okay. I, sh I have no right to be talking about religion. God damn it. I do this all the time. I, I, I like, don't start my timer. I should have started my timer, so when I know when to get the hell out of here, other than based on your reactions, because this is what I'm trying to learn how to do fight against this, you know? Get, like, get connected, get us all together, you know? Like, I look homeless, I kind of am. I look like a van, whatever, it's okay. <sighs> I literally got my front teeth taken out today. Today's the day one of five weeks of no front teeth. And I'm gonna get new teeth, it's fine, but like, there they go. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> like, but it's cool, because like, I can, like, I can smile at myself even while I'm frowning. Like I'm frowning and smiling at myself. Can you do that? No, you can't.
because your life's better than mine, but I'm not going to judge you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should prepare better than this. I wanted to talk about one other thing. Uh, I get into animals a lot. Like, uh, no, I don't get into animals. Hold on. <laughs> I get into talking about animals. I'm an animal lover. I haven't eaten an animal in like two decades and whatever, man. Okay. Uh, but like dogs and cats, you guys like dogs or cats better? Dogs. Dogs. Okay. One person's like cats. Shh. <laughs> Keep it down. This is a dog crowd here, okay? <laughs> you don't want to get into that with them, okay? <laughs> Uh, uh, people like dogs better because there's like this unconditional love that comes from dogs. You don't get it from cats because they're too independent, right? You know? Like, in my example for this is like, do you know how many dog years is in a human year? Yeah, like everyone knows that it's seven, right? Okay, do we know how many cat years is in a human year? No, nobody knows, right? Because they don't want to do math for the cat, right? They're like, take nine lives and get out of here. I can't do math for you, right? Cats are too independent. You see a cat in the neighborhood by itself, right? You can be like, oh, hey there, buddy. How you doing? It's good to see you. Oh, that's real nice. What you up to? Yeah, okay, get out of here. And then you go on to their day, right? If you see a dog in their neighborhood by itself, you're like, are you okay? Is your owner okay? Is he stuck in a well? Do I need to follow you somewhere? What is going on? Why are you by yourself out here? You don't see a dog by itself. It doesn't happen. And if you do, you know something's wrong, I guess. Cats are way more independent, you know? Like, the dog year thing is cool because it's like you just get a, a grip, right? Except I, like, it doesn't make sense smaller than years, right? Like, I have a dog. My dog goes to sleep with me. I go to sleep for eight hours. In dog years, my dog just slept for 56 hours? What a bum! Are you kidding me? Do something with your life. <laughs> You're going to die sooner. It's sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope my dog never dies. I shouldn't have said <laughs> <laughs> The point I'm getting at <laughs> is the dog year thing is weird. And you get home and your dog is so excited to see you. People think that you get home and your dog's like, I thought I would never see you again. You know, but you were at work for eight hours. You know, when that dog's life, that's two and a half days. That dog just has to pee. You know? You get home, you have a cat. He doesn't care. He's like, I piss in the box. <laughs> You know when you clean up the cat's box, too, and they watch you? They're like, what are you doing in my space? Ah, oh, right? I'm going to go in there as soon as you're done, right, and rearrange, because I don't like the way you left the piles. You go out with the dog, they make eye contact with you. They're like, is this okay? I'm really vulnerable right now. Are you going to protect me? That's their weakest moment is when they're pooping. So they really like look into you in their eyes. They're like, Will you, are we cool? Are we, is this cool? Because <laughs> if someone comes up on me right now, I don't got this. <laughs> I need you. And cats are like, <laughs> I'll just bury it and you'll scoop it. It's fine. Okay. This has been an adventure for all of us, I'm sure. Thank you. My name is Nathan Russell. <laughs> Give it up for skateboard. Your opening set was dope, man. Keep it up.